How do I sell my house without a realtor? Well, you can do that just about any time you want. Selling is easy when you know how. Hey, thank you for joining Ted Thomas and I in this video. Ted Thomas is, of course, the Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Deed Authority. And today he's going to be explaining how you can sell your house without using a realtor. Now, Ted, a lot of people think that you have to have a realtor to sell a house. Is that true? If you own the property, you can sell your own property. So you don't have to have a realtor. Now, most people don't really understand the challenge of selling real estate. So I'm going to suggest that you start out and keep a real open mind about whether you're going to use a realtor or whether you're going to use an agent, a broker, whatever you want to call them. Most people start right out when they think about selling a property. Their first thought in their mind is, I think I'll do this myself. All right. So I'll tell you, I've been teaching people, guiding people, helping people with this process for over 30 years. Now, it's three decades of selling property. It's not a difficult process, but it is a process and you need to do it the right way. Otherwise, you'll be sitting on a property month after month after month. Now, the whole deal that we're talking about is we come to these tax defaulted auctions. I got in the business for one reason only. I could buy properties at 10 and 20, 30 cents on the dollar, and they had much higher assessed value. So I was working on that margin. So that's one of the easiest things to do is help people sell a property, is know that you got a lot of margin in that property when you're trying to sell it. Do you have any examples of some of the marketing efforts that maybe a lot of people don't even think about using, but should consider using? Well, I got a handful of ideas that I can pass on. So first of all, you wanna multiply yourself. The way you wanna multiply yourself is use technology. The technology really helps a lot. So first thing to do is if you don't know how to do it, have someone else build you a website because you wanna put pictures of your property on the website. Now let's hang in with the pictures for a minute. So what kind of pictures do we want? Obviously you want pictures, still pictures on the ground, still pictures of the inside of the property and get someone with a drone to go over the top of that property and get pictures because that's gonna save you a lot of time and effort. So when people call you, or they respond in any way, you can go ahead and send them to that website. All right, so that's step number one. All right, now step number two, if you wanna sell a property, is you're going to get phone calls. So I don't want you to answer the telephone. I want you to use an answering service so that they record all the calls that come in and then always pick a time of day, six o'clock at night, whatever time of day it is, and call all those people back. But tell them when they call that you're gonna call them back at a certain time so that they're expecting it. Why would you do that? Because I can tell you, you're not selling a property on the phone. It's not happening. But all the looky-loos, everybody that wants to get involved with these properties wants to talk to you on the phone. And believe me, the wannabes, the looky-loos, the people that don't have anything else to do, they want to talk to you on the phone for hours. So what are we talking about? We're using technology. We're using the website. We're using the telephone. All right, that's going to cut down on your work a lot. Now, if you bought the property right, you've got a big story to tell and we're going to talk about that. So we're not answering the phone. We're recording all the people that call. Then we're going to call them back at a specific time. Now, the key to selling is letting the world know about it. All right, now I'm going to talk a lot about that. So hang in there a little bit. Marketing the property is important. So you don't have to be a marketing genius. Just copy what you're learning on the YouTube video. Okay, what do I want you to do? I want you to use media. Now, media can be a, a sign on the front lawn. Media can be signs in the neighborhood, but media more importantly is going to be use Craigslist, use eBay, use the multiple listing service because many brokers will allow you to put the property on the multiple listing service, which populates hundreds of websites. The idea is you want to let the world know that you have a property for sale. So you need to use Zillow. You need to think about Trulia. You need to do as many different sites as you possibly can because media is what's going to sell this property. You can't wait for someone to drive by to get it done. You're going to have a good story to tell because you bought it low and I teach people to sell it low and you're going to probably sell it below the tax assessed value. But I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. How can homeowners create a really appealing listing, Ted, that really stands out to potential buyers? Well, appealing is different things to different people. Appealing to buyers that are in the market like we're talking about. The appeal really is, is your pricing, okay? We're gonna sell this based on the appeal of pricing. 
Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, if we could buy it for 30 cents on the dollar and we're willing to sell it at 50 cents on the dollar, well, that's going to change the whole ball game. So how will people know about that? They'll know about it because we're going to market it. So let's say we had a hundred thousand dollar property. We bought it for 30 cents on the dollar, but we'll sell it for 50 cents. So it'd be very easy. What would appeal to anybody would be hundred thousand dollar property must sell for 50,000. Well, I can tell you that has a lot of appeal, but we don't need to stop there. We can do a lot of things. We can say installment sale. We can say split down payment. We can say any number of things like that that are going to appeal to our kind of buyer. So who is our kind of buyer? We'll figure that out right away. It's going to be fixer upper guys and gals. It's going to be people that want to renovate property. It's going to be property flippers. So that's who we appeal to. So we can put right in our ad, fixer upper, handyman special. That's what we want to do to have our ad appeal. So then cost wise, is it cheaper to, you know, sell the house, market it yourself or just hire a realtor to take care of everything? Well, before I finish, um, I need to say this. We can talk about selling the property, but I want you to think about using Craigslist, using the multiple listing service and using brokers. If a broker is going to come to see you, you want to use them. So the question really is, which is cheaper? Everybody's thinking the same thing. I don't want to pay the broker. Well. I think the other way around. I want as many marketing avenues as I can use. So every one of those avenues, I want to travel down. I want to use the multiple listing. I want to use the brokers. I want to use Craigslist. I want to use eBay. I want to use as many media as I can. Why? Because the exposure is what's going to sell this property, not wait for someone to come down the street. So yes, maybe you could save some money, but which would you rather do? Save money or make money quickly and go on to the next deal. I want to make money quickly and go on to the next deal. Brokers will allow you to list the property. Brokers will expose the property to hundreds and hundreds of people. Well, do your students who win uh, at an auction a tax delinquent and have a tax delinquent piece of property, do they have an advantage when it comes to selling? I think they have a big advantage and I'll tell you what the big advantage is. It's the reason I get in the business. I get in the business because I knew I could buy properties 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar and they wouldn't have a mortgage. They wouldn't have a deed of trust. So the buying of that property at auction is the big advantage. All right. So now I can sell at a lower price. All right. If I can sell at a lower price because I bought at a 70 or an 80 percent discount, because I bought it at a lower price, now I can sell at lower price. All right, so I'm selling used and abused properties. Some of these things need a lot of tender loving care. Some of them need minor repairs. Some of them just need a clean up and a touch up. All right, so the savvy motivated seller, what do they do? Well, they come to us, we give them classes, we show them how to purchase the property, but everybody wants to forget about the sale like it's automatic. It's not automatic. You're gonna buy it low, so that you can sell it low. So what do we do? We teach the people how to sell the property. All right, so let's use an example. The example is this. If it's a $100,000 value and we can buy it for 30 cents on the dollar, well, we paid $45,000. Wow, that's a pretty good difference in the purchase price and the value of the property. All right, we don't have to hold out for $150,000. Let's sell it for $95,000. And just look at the chart. There's plenty of money left over for any one of us that's doing it. That's why I like the business. That's why I like to sell it to fixers, flippers, and renovators, because they'll use up some of that profit doing the fix up and they'll make that into a little dollhouse or whatever and sell it to somebody else. Good business for me, great business for them. From the real world of experience, it takes about 10% of the value of a property to sell it. Now, how do I get to that 10% of the value? Because I'm willing to pay a broker I know that we're going to have to more than likely buy a title insurance policy. I know that we're going to have to do some minor fix up on this property. I know that whoever buys it's going to have a punch list. Yes, you have to fix this, fix that. So I figured 10% to sell a property. That's about what it's going to work out average wise. All right. Now, title fees, appraisals, county inspections and other things all add to it. So there's where I got the 10%. If you don't know these selling strategies, you're never going to grow your business beyond your kitchen table. You'll never have a nice, smooth business going. It's going to be a struggle every single month. But if you learn these multiple strategies for selling, they're all necessary. 
What will happen basically is you'll be able to sell quickly. You bought it low, you sell it low. Guess what happened? That will smooth it out. You'll sell the property quickly and you'll make the money that you deserve. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, hey, I got a question for Ted. Perfect. Just leave in the comment section below. You will get an answer. While you're down there, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Ted's channel. One last thing, Ted, it sure would be nice to have a list where people could know when and where these auctions are happening. When it comes to buying property, we have streamlined the process because we're teaching you to go to the county records and find these properties at 10 and 20 cents on the dollar. All right, how are you gonna find the property? You're gonna find them at the counties. So you can find them on the county websites. There's over 3,000 counties that you can find them on website. You can also find them in the newspaper for each of those counties. Or you can go to an online calendar, which you can see right below me, where you can move a cursor and find how many properties are in that state. And then you can keep moving that cursor and find out how many properties in the individual counties. I'm Ted Thomas. I'll see you on the next video.